Hello, this is Gail Ferris. I went to the Yama River in 1991. We flew from Anchorage to Magadan via Alaska Air. It was one of the first times it flew this brand new route to Magadan. This is leaving Anchorage, Alaska. This is low tide in the bay. Tide height here is 35 feet. This is the mud flats. The mud flats in Anchorage go out for miles, so it's not a safe place to consider going kayaking because you could be stranded. We are flying at an altitude north of Anchorage where we can see orographic clouds from above, which is most interesting. And also as we go across the straits, Bering Straits, there are many interesting clouds to look at. Although we flew over the Diomede Islands, we never could see them because they were shrouded with clouds. We are descending into Siberia and the runway at Magadan is a military runway, incredibly bumpy. Right at this moment, we're actually over the Yama River on the way into Magadan. This is the approach to Magadan from the air. Now we are in the last moments, just over Magadan, a city of half a million people. And the weather in Magadan is broken clouds and 61 degrees. We're looking out over the Sea of Ohusk from the shore of Magadan and this is what the harbor looks like. It is an extensively well-developed harbor because it serves the Far East. The harbor is rimmed with igneous rock, particularly black and white granite. The Sea of Ahux is a fine area for fishing. This is a park in the middle of Magadan, just to show you the elegant metalwork of this area. Here is the upper portions of this building and a fine wrought iron gate. Very interesting cubistic style of the 30s. This is a World War II monument that illustrates the high development of cubism. It's a very interesting images to look at because of how things were abbreviated but convey the message of what World War II meant to the Russian people with all its hardships and threats to Mother Russia and the sacrifices its people had to undergo throughout the entire Russian Republic at that time. Now we have taken off from Magadan and we are flying north of Magadan in a helicopter. We're looking at the agricultural development in this area from the air, which is very interesting to see how resources are used in Siberia in 1991. And this area, which is most interesting is not glaciated, was not glaciated as recently as the North American continent was glaciated. And this has an enormous effect on the topography. The mountains are simply eroded structures with razorback tops to them. And um, 
in some ways they resemble the Poconos in Pennsylvania because of as we are flying over this topography I uh, was thinking about what life must have been like when this area was an extensive gulag area for the Soviet Union. It was established in 1935 originally and what life must have been like and the fact that gold was found in this area. So you can see these mountains are very steep sided. So if you wanted to escape from a gulag you were not going to be going up over the top because you would be visible to anyone for miles around. Because it is windy, cold and dry on these peaks the only plant that seems to survive of any size is the Siberian pine tree which hugs the ground and is probably covered with snow otherwise. In the river valleys the trees are much taller because they are not exposed to the wind. In these river valleys all the soil nutrients are concentrated hence the size and density of vegetation. A wonderful home for Andromeda's fish, the salmon. Our helicopter is taking us up over and through the mountains and they are on their way to drop us for a short visit at a gulag. Gulags were last used until about 1963. They were prison camps. Many, many people died in them. Many people never even made it to the gulags. Life was extremely harsh. They were used for mining gold in this region and they were a very tough life. I saw a fence post that was about 10-12 feet tall just smothered with barbed wire. Barbed wire was set every three to four inches so it was not a place to try to escape from. We're getting an overview of the Yama River and as you can see there's very few rocks of any size in this region. Here is a gulag photograph that I took and the river has many winds and turns in it. On our flight up it was foggier and foggier and very warm. After we landed, a short time after we landed, a big fat thunder shower came in. So we had to immediately set up our camp so that uh, we had protection from the downpour. Weather conditions in the valley of the Yama River this morning. We have fog, wind, mosquitoes, Earlier we had some lightning. This is the view down to the east. The river flows east from here. I'm giving you a panoramic view from our campsite which is on an island in the river. Just to show you what the clouds look like that are moving among these mountain peaks and to show you what the trees look like. We have clouds migrating down the river valley. This is a metamorphic area of ancient rock similar to the Poconos in character. A lot of um, slate, siltstone, mudstone with a mineral such as burrow integrated into them. You find some quartz feldspar in this area. At the campsite this morning we are assembling a catamaran. This is the uh, skeleton to it made of aluminum tubing. These are the pontoons. Behind the tent is our raft, which is going to be rowed. This is our catamaran in construction. The pontoons are being tied to the frame with nylon straps. 
стягивал эти два краника до сюда. Да любой. Завязывай кончик, а потом стягивай. Конец там завяжи. И пошел. The pontoons are about 14 feet long. It was very interesting to see this curious poplar that grows in Siberia and these alder, aspen, birch on the Yama River. Here's some more birch. But most elegant were to come across wild iris growing here, blue iris. And tall grasses because of the rich nutrients in the soil. Very beautiful to enjoy. This evening after a pristine day of bright sunny weather we have come uh, 15 kilometers down the river, the Yama River, and a storm has suddenly come off the river valley which we're about to receive. The wind is quite strong and we expect rain. The river has been running as you can see quite fast. It's quite consistent in character. Uh, a few possible class 2 rapids but generally it's a very homogeneous river as far as we have come this first day. This is to our west. It's now 8 o'clock at night in Siberia. In this area, tamarack and various willows are very common trees. We are now seeing igneous rock. I found some more iris, but most exciting was to find delphinium in the wild and to see some geranium that are very similar to geranium that grow on the east coast in New England. As you can tell, some of these rocks are obviously pink felspathic granitic rocks. We just came from an area that was a metamorphic area of sedimentary metamorphic rocks. This is some fast clouds moving by. This is something quite surprising to watch. This storm is moving very fast through these mountains. It is pushing in very hard. A very disconcerting experience if you were up there on top of that mountain. The wind would be very strong. It's a thunder shower coming in. This is the Vanya, which is being constructed for today, and we're oh going to enjoy it. The base is made of large logs and positioned securely with large river-worn pieces of granite, you can see. And then the uprights are being placed and will be covered with thick plastic. Large boulders will be heated in the fire to provide heat for the steam. This is a fire which is to supply heat for the banya. The rocks will be put inside the banya and cold water will be poured onto them which will generate steam. This is a view from our evening campsite at the river. This evening we are worried about the presence of bears. They do occur in this area. Because of the bears and the numerous mosquitoes, we are using islands in the river to camp on. From the islands we have plenty of firewood and we get our best range in view and a nice wind to blow the mosquitoes away.
This is our catamaran. It is working very nicely. The cone shaped bag is for kneeling against and sitting on. For people in the stern. There is an interesting mountain. It looks like it could have been a volcano. The river is flowing a good seven or eight knots, I would guess. I found these flowers growing on the islands in this area, and um, several of them are familiar, and others are not. But uh, I've seen this in New England, and um, a version of this also in Greenland. This is our supply of bread. It's a mixture of rye and wheat. We are stopping for lunch. This is our raft, which is being rowed and used on the Altai River. The black rubber raft is paddled, and we have a plastic kayak. The trees are tamarack, poplar, willow, many types of willow, and birch. Siberian pine, which grows quite low in the winter time, is covered with snow. Tamaracks lose their needles in the winter time. This is a ranuncula, and among it are little white bits of poplar seeds. This is a type of saxifragia. All of these grow in the river sand. And a sedum. These are bear prints. You can see the back foot and the front foot. The back one is longer than the front. Moments in salmon fishing. Belodia with a nice chum salmon he just caught. Oh, a nice fish. Oh, here's a big one. Big cheese. This is our evening sky with some particularly interesting clouds. It's the dust of uh, maybe some weather coming in. This area has weather that changes very rapidly, and we had a couple of days with thunder. These are some fresh air prints. And something like a fox or a fisher. We have terns and we have seagulls in this area. The gulls and terns are not exactly charmed with our presence in this area. These are mew gulls and common terns. Не 
It's quite windy this afternoon, which is keeping our campsite nice and cool and bug-free. You can see our raft, which is being rowed underway. We're moving pretty swiftly down this river. The mountains are not as steep-sided as you can see. A molting duck fleeing. These are footprints of some hoofed animal. Possibly an elk. Fairly large. They're about four inches long and five inches wide. Thank <laughs> you. 
A gray one. Not a salmon. This is this evening's supper, which is pieces of salmon with onion wrapped in aluminum foil, which is in a hole that has been had a fire over top of it. And then the stones are being raked back over top of the aluminum foil wrapped salmon. Yuri caught the salmon today and he has been doing wonderful cooking. They will sit in there for probably a half an hour. The fire is now being raked back over top of the rocks to keep the heat going. This is the moon this evening over the Yama River in Siberia. It's quite full. Clouds are going by the moon. This is a different kind of salmon with pink spots on it, which is caught this morning. This is a Dolly Varden. Black whirling beetle, I believe, is it? Quite large. It's about an inch and a half long.
Rosy light in the morning as the sun is rising. This is River of Bottom Street Road. Showing that the river has changed its course in this area. And then right next to it is an old stand kind of tamarack. Where the river has not changed its course in quite a few years. This tree, tree grew when it was much warmer. And now this is all the only area that shows this ancient tree. Oh yeah. This is described as old forest. These are probably left here since the last uh, cold period when we had major glaciation in North America. This is the Yama River and to my right is the Holinchinya River which is feeding into the Yama River. And right there I saw a huge salmon jump out of the water. There's one right now. That river is loaded with large salmon. There's one.
this is a strange green transparent algae that's sort of jelly like. It forms a long ribbon. This is a strange green transparent algae that's sort of jelly like. It forms a long ribbon. Most likely sandpiper footprints. We're stopping to talk with the game preserve warden. The Yama River was originally a game preserve during the Tsarist Empire. These are four loons, common loons, which we have in our area as well. Just uh, now they have discovered that we are coming down the river. Backpack dolls, the first ones we're seeing, we're about 20 miles north of Yamsk on the Yama River. We're starting to see uh, more diversity. Coming down the Yama River into Yamsk. We're starting to see places where people live. Oh, Falcon. I see. We're paddling past an area where bank swallows are living. Swallows live in these banks. We call them sand bank swallows. Note the lush vegetation on this bank. Funny looking fish with a snout and a drooping belly. They're all lined up going upstream. This is a broken gall egg that couldn't hatch because the shell was too thin due to DDT. This is this evening's sunset. The sun is nice and red over the river. This is our last camping site. The helicopter is going to fly us back to Magadan now. I always enjoy takeoff.
standard airplane use in the Russian side, Far East, on the border. This is a wonderful airplane that's used a lot in the U.S. as a lot. Notice the double lines. We're on the coast off of Magadan looking out on the sea of Lohut. Our coastline of a horseshoe shape. Uh, stone cliffs here. Uh, on this side they are black and white granite. We are going to go out and pull some crab flies. I saw Orca earlier this morning from the bay. We had come out to these islands to look at seabirds, especially puffins, which absolutely fascinate me. And so I am trying to catch this view. Here's one in flight. I've slowed down the footage so you could see how this little bird flies. Absolutely fascinating. There are also plenty of comrades and gulls, blackback gulls, and other gulls as well. We're out in another boat at this moment and once again looking at the seabirds and we're out catching fish off the bottom which was great fun. Catching them with flounder. Pieces of flounder. Huh? Yeah, it's Caesar. Uh, people use caviar. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. The sea of is especially fertile. Here is its variety of shellfish. Now we are returning to Anchorage, Alaska. And we have left Magadan at about 4 o'clock in the morning, their local time. And we are going to gain a day because we will be jumping over the international date line. So here we are looking over Siberia, flying eastward toward Alaska. I found this mountain range especially mystical to look at with its shroud of clouds passing over it. Thank you for watching my video. This is Gail Ferris, your narrator and <coughs>